Greetings, my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'll be tasting a Danish Kringle. So I actually picked this up the last time I was at Trader Joe's, and I was just so charmed by the packaging. This kind of waxed paper with this little Viking on it. His name is Olaf, baked fresh daily. I mean, why not? And Danish Kringle. It sounds very Christmassy. Anyways, I bought it. <laughs> So it was about $7. It wasn't exactly cheap, but it is quite large. Like, look at the size of this thing. Friends from Racine, Wisconsin, from Old Danish Bakery. It's like it says it's a pecan kringle. So what's not to love, right? And if you like these kinds of tasty videos, don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's tuck into this. So I'm going to cut it right here. There it is. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's a huge Danish. So on the back, it says this was established in 1949 by Christian Olsen and their family remains true to the traditions of baking skills originated in Denmark. I love that packaging. It was super simple. Just a bit of waxed paper envelope essentially and a bit of plastic and you have this. <gasps> So I didn't do any research about what a Kringle was prior to tasting this because I didn't want to spoil my reaction to it, but it looks like it might be the original Danish or where maybe the word Danish comes from, right? This is certainly enough to feed an army and I love the round shape. Oh, that looks phenomenal. I can see some pecans already and it has this kind of sweet filling and icing on top. And Danish friends, do let me know how to say bon appetit in the comments below. All right, itadakimasu. Mmm. The pastry is flaky but tender. What I love are there are tons and tons of pecans or pecans, however you pronounce it where you're from, in there. And they're so rich and crunchy and delicious. The filling is quite sweet, but there's also a little bit of salt in there as well. Really great balance of sweet and salty and amazing, delicious, yum, dying to dip this into some coffee. Mmm. If you're looking for a breakfast that can feed an army, if you have company or something like that, I highly recommend picking up a Danish Kringle. It's a delicious little treat. It feeds an army and you don't have to do any work. What more could you ask for? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you've had a Kringle before, or if you have some great recipe on how to make it, I would love to learn about it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. I'm Jordy. I'm Jordy.